Laxi and conscious bias. Yeah. We feel more comfortable when we're surrounded with yeah. people who look and talk like us. Yeah. So unconscious bias shows up in the workplace in who we hire, in who we listen to in meetings, in who we assign projects. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a million ways in which that shows up that yeah. people have to actively combat, but it's uncomfortable. That reminds me of the Sutter Club in Sacramento, which is this hoity-toity private club <laughs> that a bunch of people are members of. You pay a bunch of dues mm -hmm. to have the privilege to go to this old place <laughs> and have not great food. Yeah. Sorry, Sutter Club. And it used to be an all-men club. And uh -huh. then they allowed women. And the men's complaints were, I don't get feel like I can be myself. Mm. I have to filter what I say. It used to be a place of debauchery, and now they have to be politically correct. And they were so <laughs> irritated about it. Yeah. I don't know if it goes both ways. Is, but it has to that we all feel comfortable in the environments where we feel like we can be ourselves, but perhaps there's value in some of that conversation and the politeness and regard that we show for different people.